right here. This is Killzone 3 uh, in move. Uh, you can immediately see that the cursor is a little bit different. Uh, it needs to stand out from the environment. Uh, obviously, uh, with DualShock, the cursor is always in the center of the screen. This time around, you can uh, uh, basically aim uh, at where you want to aim. That's where your bullets will go. You just point at the screen, that's where they'll go. As soon as you start hitting the sides of the screen, you can see the camera starts rotating. As I get closer to the edge, it starts rotating faster and faster. Same for up and down. It's uh, really easy to kind of navigate in, uh, in that sense. We, know, we understand that it's different things for different people, so what we're going to do is uh, um, allow different sensitivities to be set. There's basically going to be a slider in the options menu that will allow you to kind of uh, set your preference, whether you want to really uh, quickly turn around or take it a little bit slower. Uh, we understand that uh, different sizes of TVs, different methods of play, some people just want to uh, have the kind of quick wrist motion and, uh, and get, uh, get all the action going. Other people find that disorienting and want to take it a little bit slower. So, that's exactly what we're going to be giving them. Uh, in terms of uh, aiming at these, uh, these bad guys down here, uh, obviously we're not going to have the, uh, the aim helpers that we have with, uh, with the dual shock. Uh, so it's, uh, it's you doing the aiming. Uh, but at the same time, we implemented uh, something we call auto aim. It's on the L2 button. And as soon as I'm near one of the enemies, it'll automatically snap to the nearest one and to the bit that is exposed. So I can quickly take these guys out. That makes the game a whole lot easier. Uh, this is going to be accessible on, uh, only on the easy setting uh, when you play the game, so the easy difficulty setting. Um, you can still turn it off in the menu, though. Uh, we have, this is the full lock on. We also have the half lock on, where it's only uh, the camera lock. Uh, and we have the uh, no lock whatsoever uh, kind of setting, where you, uh, you have to do all the hard work yourself. And one of the things that you'll, uh, that you'll see is, obviously, we, uh, uh, we still have all of the buttons that the uh, DualShock still has as well. But uh, we're able to, uh, uh, to implement uh, some gestures as well. So if I am a little low on ammo and I want to reload, I can just, with a motion on my wrist, just quickly uh, reload. And that goes for the other way around as well. Left or right, doesn't matter. Uh, I can do these kind of things. And one thing you'll notice uh, is if I want to pick up things, I just pull towards me, and it'll pick up a new rifle. Uh, now, one of the things here in, uh, in uh, Killzone 3 is uh, we've listened to our fan feedback, where a lot of people were saying, why can I only carry one primary weapon? Um, this time around, I can just switch, and I've got my other weapon, and I still have my fallback pistol, and I can switch back to the, the big rifle that I just picked up. So we're going to have uh, the ability to carry multiple, uh, multiple weapons this time around. So those are some of the gestures we can do. Uh, we also thought about uh, uh, throwing grenades. Initially, uh, people were saying, well, wouldn't it be great if we could throw a grenade like this? But you can see I have no idea where my grenade is going. I cannot really uh, properly aim with, uh, with uh, that going on. So what we've done is instead, uh, you press the L1 button, you start cooking your grenade, and you can, you can then basically aim at where you want to throw it and throw it. If I actually get to throw it, there we go. You can aim it where you want to throw it anytime. So that's really simple. And one of the other cool things, uh, obviously, in Killzone 3 is uh, the brutal melees. So if I just make my way around here, uh, Killzone 2 was all about kind of tactical gameplay and hunkering down behind, uh, behind cover. You can, of course, still do that, but we also wanted to have something as a reward for the run and gun kind of. Uh, kind of players out there. So if I get close to these enemies right here, I can just hold the button and perform a contact sensitive brutal melee. We have a whole variety of these, uh, um, of these animations here. All of them are as brutal as the one you've just seen. Um, and it basically takes into account what is there in the environment and takes advantage of them. So if there's uh, guys that are standing uh, next to cover, I can quite easily take them out uh, by using that cover.